How to decorate chairs with tulle. Decorating chairs with tulle is a cheap and easy way to add beauty and elegance to your next event. Whether you're decorating for a wedding or a birthday party, you can turn the chairs from simple to stunning in no time. Making tulle designs. Tie a bow around the chair back for a soft and sweet look. Bows are great for weddings, birthdays, and bridal or baby showers. Hold a long piece of tulle horizontally and wrap it around the front of the chair to the back. Tie a bow and adjust the loops until they are even and as big as you like. You can try this strategy on any type of chair. The tulle can be as scrunched together or spread out as you like. Play around with the design to figure out which variation is the most aesthetically pleasing to you. You can try this strategy on any type of chair. The tool can be as scrunched together or spread out as you like. Play around with the design to figure out which variation is the most aesthetically pleasing to you. Wrap tool around the outside of the chair post to decorate an aisle. Scrunch a long piece of tool together into a thin rope-like piece, then wrap the center point around the inside of one of the top posts of the chair back. Cross the two sides of the tool over each other on the outside of the post, then wrap them around the inside of the post. Continue crossing and wrapping the tool down to the end of the post at the seat of the chair. Then, tie the two sides in a knot on the outside of the post. This method works best on Chiavari chairs. Do this to the same side of every chair in the aisle for a beautiful, eye-catching design. The excess tool should be just long enough to skim the floor. Make sure it is even on every chair. All greater than this method works best on Chiavari chairs. Do this to the same side of every chair in the aisle for a beautiful, eye-catching design. The excess tool should be just long enough to skim the floor. Make sure it is even on every chair. Arrange the tool diagonally around the chair back for an elegant feel. Hold a piece of tool diagonally across the front of the chair back so it catches around one of the top edges or posts. Wrap it around the back and secure it at the bottom of the chair back and the opposite side with a knot or a piece of ribbon. Let the excess tool hang down to the floor. Try this on Chiavari chairs or other chairs with posts. Tuck a flower into the ribbon for an extra touch of glamour. Try this on Chiavari chairs or other chairs with posts. Tuck a flower into the ribbon for an extra touch of glamour. Join the tool from the top of the chair back to the bottom for a sheet look. Thread a piece of tool vertically around the front of the top support of the chair back down to the bottom support connecting the back chair legs. Gather both ends of the tool behind the chair back at the center point between the top and bottom supports. Hot glue the tool together. Cover the area where the tool is joined with flowers or a bit of bling, like jeweled ribbon. This variation works best on folding chairs. Choose a color of tool that contrasts with the color of the chair to make this decoration pop. Cover the area where the tool is joined with flowers or a bit of bling, like jeweled ribbon. This variation works best on folding chairs. Choose a color of tool that contrasts with the color of the chair to make this decoration pop. Make a tool tutu for a child's birthday party chair. Measure a length of ribbon to fit around a high chair tray or the seat of a regular chair. Leave extra room so you can tie it on at the end. Cut 20 to 30 pieces of tool that are 18 inches 46 centimeters wide and 42 inches 110 centimeters long. Find the center point of each strip of tool and tie it to the ribbon. Then, tie the ribbon to the chair. Feel free to alternate colors, if you like. Feel free to alternate colors, if you like. 